यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन एबस्ट्रेक्ट थीसिस सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू क्रिएट को हॉट एनालिसिस so cohort analysis is a report where we have time on both the axes now it could be some other report where we can have similar kind of things but here we are plan to discuss you know where we have time on both the axes so now to begin with that we need to look at our data so i have this model where i have a sales table which is joined with the date table on the sales date okay and then item joined on with item id customer joined with customer id and geography joined with city id so this is my star schema model where sales table has majors like net which i'm going to use here what i need to do here is basically i want to analyze now i what i want to analyze is basically my customer retention how the customer who came in the first month how they are behaving you know are they purchasing are they not purchasing what is happening post that maybe i only want to analyze the existing customer ids so let's try to do that now to do that what i need basically here first of all is basically i want to know the first date of purchase of each customer so right now what is happening i have a sales date in this table but i want to know the first purchase date now to know the first purchase date i need to create a column so i'll create a column and take the help of earlier to do that so first date is the column which i need so first date is nothing but min x filter the table name sales customer id id equals to earlier customer id means is this row's customer id should be equal to earlier customer id and once the customer ids are equal then you give me the sales date so this will give me the first date so for every customer now what is happening one row contain the date of the sales another thing contains the first date this is the first thing which i need now what i need here is because i need these things to be on both rows and columns so i need two dimensions so i need additional date dimension also so i go to my date script and i copy this script as first date dimension also so i create a new table and this new table i am going to join with the first date so let me call it as first date only and let me change few things out here so that i am able to differentiate when i drag it first date month year first date this first date first year first quarter year first week day first month and first month year sort once i get this you know the month here is not going to sort automatically correctly so we need to click on first month here sort by column first month here sort so that the sorting happens correctly now let's look what we supposed to build in so we want to know when when a customer came in how it is progressing how what sales it is doing or how many customers are getting retained over month over month so i need a major which is basically distinct count of the customers so let's create a major which let's call that major as customers so customers and customers is nothing but distinct count of customer id from sales now we have sales date joined with sales first sales date joined with the first sales date date dimension let's try to build in a matrix visual so we bring in matrix visual here now in the matrix visual let's drag it now where do i need the first date so let's take it on row and then if it doesn't work out then we'll say so first date now the problem here is this is not marked as a date table so i go here right click mark as date table mark as date table select the date column now this is not going to make a big difference in the analysis but i just wanted to make sure that we do the things right now first month year we put it in the row we get january february now the sorting is not correct why it is still not correct first month here sort now it is correct seems like okay now the second column which we bring in is basically the date table and there we bring in month here on the column 
it's not going to work out no worries we'll bring in a major to make sure these things works now there is some problem here because the date table when i brought one here is giving problem and now this total is so why this is happening why this is not showing me so this whenever this happens check out your joins some joins might be missing so look at this model we don't see sales is getting any join from first date we created first date it doesn't know it need to join the first date now i don't want to drag it so long so what i will do here is i go here and drag sales table and the first date table and i create a join between the two tables so we need first date we need date and we join back these two one to many single directional join we need and the moment i come back here i see net correctly but i don't need net here we actually have created a major customers let's bring in customers so values customers so now what does this means this means 958 customer came in in october month so october that many will remain in november 260 out of the 269 came out of them then 293 came out of them then similarly 1241 came in november out of which 364 came in here in january tonight so it just keep on scrolling like this okay so this is how your typical cohort report will look like so basically what would happen this this thing will you know this triangle will keep on in, increasing okay now because we have this data manipulated there could be certain chances that you see the triangle not expanding properly that these could be problem because of the data manipulation but ideally speaking this should be a triangle okay now the problem with this approach is now when we are looking at this that i am having this major it looks good and it looks good the problem here is that i am not able to compare that what happened to the customer who came in october as the first month came in october as a first month he went to november i am able to retain certain percentage what happened to the same one in the november so the percentage of retention i want to see but here also i am not able to you know see them together i want that first month to be all together second month to be all together and third month to be all together this is how i want it so that you know i am able to you know make sure that you know i am able to compare you know month one month two month three behavior so now what i need here is basically month one month two month three month four something kind like that i need so for that what i need to do here is basically um i'll go back to my sales table and in this sales table what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new column and this column is nothing but month difference and actually i'm going to keep the zero month as zero month uh, the first month when you purchase so i'll say month number and in the month number i'll say date diff first date comma sales date and i'll keep the difference in the month now i'm not adding plus one there would be months with zero and i am fine with those month having value zero because first month i want as a zero so what i need the second thing is i want i might have to remove this for my calculation like when i'm doing going to do the percentage calculation i might need the first month calculation so and all such calculation happens best when we have a dimension so i'm going to create a dimension so let me just quickly check how many months i could have so 24 months are there if data is bigger i can have more so let's create a dimension which can accumulate 100 months or something like that so that for that what we are going to do is basically go to table tools new table and we are going to take help of one function uh, that is generate series so let's say month dim this is actually month number dim not month dim so generate series and we'll call it 0 to 100 difference of one so this series will generate now this is going to help me join but i don't want to display this i so i'm going to do add columns add columns help us adding a column to an existing table now generate series generated a table which is sequence of number from 0 to 100 each with a difference of one here we say okay take that table and add a new column which is month number or name let's call it month number only and how it should be it should be month and ampersand format value comma 
zero zero. Let's see what happens. So we got we need a space here if you see this. So month zero month one two three. Now if you don't want zero zero, then you can have one um, logic out here to do that. Right now I'm I'll going to keep this. Now it requires another join. This time will not do the like last time because you already know if we are getting the same values, it means it's not joined now. So let's go to the month table. Somehow not appearing here. What happened? Month dim. Month dim. I was not able to locate that. And then we have to search for month number here. Month number, month number. One too many single directional join. We're happy with this. Now let's let's call this co1 cohort one let's duplicate this we don't want to disturb this one co2 cohort two now here in this one what we are going to do is little bit of difference so this month here we are going to remove the first month here is fine the next month here we are going to remove and here let's put month number from the month dim of yes month number month number from month dim is not showing any value what happens oh we have we have to join it with value not with the month number so this is something which we have done wrong values so now this is another thing. If your values are not matching, it's going to show all blank. Now what we are seeing. So now what is happening? We know these many customers came in October and these many repeated in first month. These many repeated in second month. These many repeated in third month. These many repeated in fourth month. So how much I am able to retain out of that much number. And now everything is apple to apple. Now October, I am able to compare what all came in the zeroth month. It means came in that particular month, it's a beginning month. And you can do little tweaking here while, while calling month zero zero as current. You can write down a formula. So, and then when you write down the formula, you also need the sorting actually. So you can say here a little bit of formatting. You can say month number if value equals zero then current else this one so these kind of stuff you can do so now this is current luckily this sorted because m is before the uh, uh, m is after the c so that's sorted otherwise you can mark the first column as a sort column if it is allowed to do that so now we got it so now what i want I just now I know my customers from that month are not going to be same numbers going to be less than that and this slowly will keep on reducing now what I want is I want to know the percentage so how would I know the percentage for so for the month zero is the one which I need the percentage the first month percentage is something which I need okay so let's duplicate this now what I need a major here is basically this should be hundred percent and this should be the percentage from the current month so we need a major like that. So first of all, let's go and try to build up a major. So we say percent of first month. How do we get first month? First of all, where underscore first underscore month calculate. Now we have customers, which is our major customers. Now we'll say the dimension. We go to the first month dimension. First, we go to month number dimension, isn't it? Month number, month number, or we go to month number value equals to zero, isn't it? That's what we want. Okay. So, and then alt enter return divide 
customers comma underscore first month let's see this works out or not the major name is percent first month we got it here and let's mark it as a percentage column because it will not display otherwise as percentage it will display something below zero okay now let's click on this bring in this first month along with the customers remove them So we got this like this because we need to do a little bit of change here. We'll change this formula a little bit and we will say here month number equals to and let's see what happens. Now we are getting the correct one, isn't it? So some, some of the things if they are in context then they work properly. So now we are getting you know what percentage you are able to retain when it is which month, okay? Now what I need is, do I really need current here? So if I don't need current, then I need to remove it from the calculation. So calculate, filter, and we say month, dim, month, dim. Value, greater than zero let's see does it still work so now you are getting the values so out the customer which came in how many percentage you were able to retain in first month second month third month you will see some up and down going in customer coming back but at over a period of time it start falling and will continue to fall for the previous customer okay so now you're seeing all of them as together now the same thing you could have done in this one also you need little bit of tweaking of the formula to get reach to the first month you can do this little bit of tweaking there also to do that so this is two variation of cohort analysis which you can try you can check out what customer retention percentage you are getting so go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you wanted me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.